What is up YouTube? I am Eric and you are watching Retro Video Game Pickups. In this video, we go to a retro GameStop. Yes, GameStop that is focused around retro games. So if you like games, consoles, or product reviews, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification. With that being said, let's hop into it. Okay, so apparently I've got some cool stuff for you guys today because honestly, I had a ton of fun doing this video and going out and finding this place. Now, this uh, kind of came about by one of my friends. He reached out and said, hey, the GameStop near us in our town uh, got redone. It's redesigned completely. They took up all the stuff that was there, redesigned it and everything, and that was the 2.0 kind of store, I guess is what they're calling it. And so we were interested in it. He went and checked it out, kind of told me some things on the day of the launch. And then today, the very next day, we went out and checked it out. Now this is gonna go up about two days later, so it's probably Thursday for you guys, but we did this on Tuesday night. So what we did was we drove about 45 minutes to find a GameStop that is retro based. So what that means is, uh, I'll kind of explain it a little bit. Now the 2.0 store, is uh, basically three console systems. You got your PS4, your Xbox One, and your Nintendo Switch. Now that was all they sell in that store. In the back of the store, in the very back, there's some cool setups. They've got like these like server rack looking things. In the very back, they have three consoles with that kind of in the server uh, rack style thing. Uh, they had the Xbox One X, they had the PS4 Pro, and then they had some Alienware PCs. And so, back in the back area, there is a gaming place where you can play games. They have monitors set up, they have Switch docks there. So you can play four different things with games preloaded, obviously, and potentially um, games to be loaded in, like disk space or cartridge space in the future. They didn't have that kind of down when we went, but you can totally go to GameStop and play games or try out games that just came out for free. Now, that is the 2.0 scale st store. So the one that I went to was also, uh, the first one was like that, but then the other one was the retro store. And so that store is a little bit different and I think it is a lot cooler. So in the beginning, you got those three console systems. You got your Xbox One, you got your PS4, and you got your Nintendo Switch stuff. That is out, that's present. They still want it to be a, a modern game store so you can get that, but in the back half of the store is where it turns into retro heaven or a retro haven depending on what you're looking for. They had two arcade one-up cabinets, they had a Miss Pac-Man, and then the Golden T one, they had that set up. Then they had four CRT's TVs set up behind that, which I thought was very cool. Now they kind of had them set up to where there was a TV uh, that was like a 32 inch uh, section for all the consoles and then another 32 inch. And they were kind of on one wall there were two and then on the other there were two as well. So you could go back to the back and figure out what game you wanted to play. There was a uh, kind of, this was kind of primitive, but there was a whiteboard with a uh, like Xbox games written down, PS2 games were written down. N64 games, NES and SNES, and they said they did a few others, like GameCube and stuff like that. Well, I saw when I walked in that uh, Dr. Mario was on the SNES, and you guys know I gravitated to that. I played it broke. They kind of had like a high score thing. I got the second high score, didn't care about writing it down because, I mean, it's GameStop and really I don't care about my name. I just wanted to be like, hey, look, I could do this easy. Um, but when it kind of got down to it, it was a cool place to hang out. Now, you'll notice that there are, there is a section for consoles, like they had a Wii, they had a Nintendo 64, they had an NES, an SNES, a PlayStation 1, um, some other old consoles as well, like an Xbox 360, a PS3, I believe. Um, and so those, that was kind of cool, but I noticed there weren't any games other than this one section of retro games, they had some NES games uh, kind of stacked up and then Nintendo 64 games across the bottom. And so I was kind of like, okay, is there kind of more than this? And so I asked, hey, I've been on Xbox Kick, you guys know it. 
what Xbox games you got. So the guy's like, let me print out a list. That's not very long. There's only like 10 games. So he prints it off and gives it to me. And I'm like, oh, I want this game. Do you, do you have it? And he's like going through all those things. And I notice he opens up these cabinets and they slide out and there's games on games. He opens it up. There's a whole cabinet of NES games and then uh, SNES games, Nintendo 64 games, and then uh, what was it, GameCube games and Dreamcast games. And so right then and there, he was like, well, it's not here. Let me go back to the." And then he realized, oh, well, those are demo units. So he kind of had to um, not necessarily, he wasn't able to sell them. Let's just say that. He said, it's my demo unit games. I can't sell them. And I'm like, dang, I wanted those, but that's okay. Whatever, that's fine. I I'm fine with that. And so I said, hey, can I look through these kind of shelves because they're kind of open still? He said, yeah, go ahead. I'm standing right here. You can't take anything. And so I go through NES games and I'm like, these are some good games, honestly. Like, there were good games in there that you would have wanted to play. Now, I did not look at the price. That is one thing that I will say before anything. I did not look at the price on every individual game because they weren't marked. But if I wanted to, I could go in and say, hey, I want this game and then they would ring it up and see how much it was and whatnot. But my friend had the app I was recording, so I didn't want to pull my app out. Um, and so he was looking them up and everything. I was like, this game is this much, this much, blah, blah, blah. So we go through the NES games. I didn't see anything I needed. Uh, same thing with the SNES games. There was a bunch of them lined up. I looked through them. I found one or two games that were interesting, but I didn't want to spend the money. And then I got to the uh, Nintendo 64 games, and you guys saw kind of just these bags kind of thing um, and uh, that's kind of how they had them stacked so I couldn't really show you guys that much but I did get one game and I kind of wanted to show it to you um, because I mean it was a game from a retro store I kind of felt like I needed to buy one and honestly it was pretty cool now I also saw the GameCube and the uh, Sega Dreamcast games all the Dreamcast games were loose disc and that's a no-go you guys know that and then obviously I found some cool um, well, I found some cool, I don't know how much they were priced though, uh, GameCube games, and I thought, uh, okay, these aren't bad, they weren't marked, so I didn't even look them up, but I was like, okay, cool, I found a game on the Nintendo 64, which I didn't have already, it was 15 bucks, but I had trade credit, um, and I felt like it was kind of worth it, let's see if I can get it out of here, and that is Flying Dragon, oh, Flying Dragon, I don't have this in my collection, or at least it's not on my list, so I hope I don't have it in my collection. But I looked it up at price charting, it was $15.99, I got it for $14.99, I know tax is a big deal, whatever, we're not talking about that. So it's not a terrible price. So I ended up going into this GameStop store, which was the retro store, and I had some fun. I've got footage for you guys, I'll sprinkle it through this video the whole time. Now I want to talk about this uh, more, this isn't going to be the only video about this. I want to talk to one of my friends and kind of talk and see if I can get him to come on with us uh, and we can talk. Maybe we'll do something about it. I don't know. But honestly, it seems like a cool concept. You can go in there, request any game that they have to play. You can play it right then on that retro station. So they had a Retron 5, they had a Wii. They didn't have a Wii. I'm lying. They didn't have a Wii at least set up. They had Xbox, GameCube, Nintendo 64. And I, did I say man, Xbox? They, they had a bunch of cool consoles just set up there and it worked really well. Now I wonder whether or not those CRTs will stay on the, the kind of stands they were on. They look like plastic to me and those CRTs are like 150 pounds. I don't think it's going to last, but who knows? Maybe we'll see in the future that they do last. Honestly, this was a pretty cool store. I will probably go back there eventually and I wish that there was another retro store near me. Now, well, we went to the retro store, but then we went to the 2.0 store, and they were putting it all together still. They're like They had chairs in the back that they were still piecing together. And I think that was a cool thing. They had, the cool thing that I liked about this was there was a wall with uh, headsets, and below was like controllers, like, like zip tied, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word. To the wall, and they had like, uh, uh, like retractable, like, cable so you can pull it out and like look at it at least so I thought that was very cool I think it's a very interesting concept they also had a couch co-op area at the very front with this huge screen I think I have a picture I don't know if I got a video we'll see I'll post it up there right now um, but
but it was cool. It was a huge TV, like 80 inches, maybe a little bit more, but it was a big console right there. You could play the PS4, the Xbox, and the Switch on that. I don't think you could play PC, but maybe you could, I don't remember. But overall, it was a very, very cool concept. I think it's a good idea, but I wanna know what you guys think. Do you think this could save GameStop? Like, it's a cool concept, cool idea. But I don't know all about it. Me and my friend, we ask a ton of questions. And we're going to talk about this in another video more. But could this potentially save GameStop? I don't know, but I want to know what you guys think. I think it's a cool idea. I've heard they're not doing the retro store as much in areas. But from what I was talking to the guy about, he said they don't have great internet where he was. And so if they don't live in the city, if they live kind of in the outer areas, um, it's perfect because people don't have time to download huge games and retro games are already on the system at least on the cartridge i guess is the right way to say it so i want to know what you guys think one last time thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe make sure you hit that bell notification that way it lets you know when i post more videos which is every tuesday thursday and saturday and sometimes on mondays depending how it goes so with that being said one last time thank you so much for watching and make sure you have a good day